Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, and today we're taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro 12.2 inch tablet, a true behemoth of a device. We'll also compare this to the Galaxy Tab Pro 8 as well as 10 inch models. If you guys have stayed tuned to my channel, you'll know that I did an unboxing and review of both. We'll also compare this to the industry leader, the iPad Air. So let's do a quick unboxing, full review, and of course we'll see if bigger is always better. Let's get right into it. And the box of the Galaxy Note Pro 12.2 is the same as most Samsung products. It has the nature theme going for it in the wood type of finish. Just reading off some tech specs, it has a 2560 by 1600 screen, which is the same resolution found on the 8 as well as 10 inch models. It has a crazy 1.9 gigahertz quad core processor, as well as a healthy amount of 3 gigs of RAM. As I mentioned, it has a 12.2 inch screen, of course has Wi-Fi, built-in GPS, as well as Bluetooth. The bottom of the bezel is home to two capacitive buttons, as well as the home button. The top of the bezel will house a 2 megapixel front facing camera, perfect for the occasional selfie or when doing some video chat. When we look around the device, surprisingly the bottom is completely bare. The right hand side features the micro SD card slot for expandable memory, USB 3.0 for charging and connecting to peripherals, as well as one speaker grill and of course the S Pen slot. The left side features a 3.5mm headphone jack as well as the second speaker grill. The top of the device features an IR blaster, volume rocker, as well as the on and off slash sleep button. The back of the Galaxy Note 12.2 features the same faux leather finish found originally on the Galaxy Note 3. It also has an 8 megapixel rear facing camera with LED flash that takes pretty decent photos as well as full HD video. To give you guys a sense of how big this 12.2 inch screen is, I've compared it to the Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4, the Galaxy Tab Pro 10.1. Of course, the 12.2 sits in the middle in black, and beside that, I threw in the iPad Air just for comparison's sake to give you a real sense of what a behemoth of a screen this is. For those of you interested in benchmarks, I ran Geekbench 3, and you can see that the single score thread compared to the iPad Air, which you can see on the right, is a lot lower. However, the multi-score thread, 2796 compared to the iPad's 2678. So when you use the Galaxy Note 12.2, you really have to take advantage of the S Pen, which in my opinion is the selling feature of this tablet. You can also always take notes. You can see that I'm writing with the S Pen and it is pressure sensitive. So whenever you write harder, the lines will become thicker. Put less pressure, the lines will become thinner. Using this tablet as just a normal tablet without the S Pen is a huge pity because you miss out on great apps such as S Note. And this is one of the few things that I truly like about TouchWiz when it's incorporated with the actual S Pen. I think Samsung's done a really good job there. So you can start to create your notes, choose your you know color binder, whatever you'd like. And when you're entering in notes, you can choose not to use the S Pen and just enter it using the virtual keyboard. This is where one of the downfalls I found when using the 12.2 inch screen. In landscape mode, I am stretching to get to the keys in the middle of the keyboard. And I'm sure there's a third party app that you can download a virtual keyboard that better suits the size screen. However, if you're stuck using the stock keyboard, unless you have basketball player size hands, you're going to find it extremely tough typing on this. And if you don't mind playing on such a heavy tablet, gaming on a 12.2 inch screen is an absolute pleasure to use. I'm playing Frontline 2 right now, one of my favorite games across all platforms and devices. And you can see that it performs without any stutter or any lag, and you can really take advantage of the full screen. And whether you're playing Frontline 2 or any other graphic intensive game, or even a simple game like Angry Birds or Cut the Rope, whatever you throw at this device, it should be able to handle it. And as it should, for $500, it commands a premium price point. It has three gigs of RAM, which is more than I think my previous laptop, and an octa-core processor. You come to expect that, and that Note 12.2 definitely delivers. Well, let me know what you guys think of the Galaxy Note Pro in the comments down below. I really think this is suited towards a specific niche or market. Students, this would be great for taking down notes in class, or even if you're in a business meeting, taking down notes to the presentation. You really have to utilize the S Pen to get its full use, and there are definitely a lot of features that I liked about it. 
Will this replace my iPad as my daily driver? Currently, there are still some things that I don't like about it. I think it's a bit too big and bulky for tablet use to be on the go. Typing in landscape mode is a bit too cumbersome. And also TouchWiz, TouchWiz, you can just never escape Samsung and TouchWiz. Um, if I could see this in a Google Play edition or even root the device, it would be a lot more better for my uses. But as I mentioned, let me know what you think. Samsung is onto something by targeting each and every market out there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. And if you guys do like this content, please be sure to hit that subscribe button as it does help me out a bunch. And of course, I will catch you guys in my next episode. Peace.